Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I hope everyone is doing okay. Okay, uh, today I felt like eating the carnivore food, so I thought, why not? Try to go low carb. So I had uh, some uh, ham steaks. I'm kind of moving away from ham, but I actually do really love ham. Uh, it's just that, you know, I will eat some ham, but not too much. Okay, so I will have uh, some ham steak and, and a fried egg, like a good carnivore. Then I steamed two cups of shelf-stable milk. And then I have the juice of one lemon because I got those marked down today. So I will just add this to my steam milk. It's been steaming a little while. It's, it's just about to boil. There's bubbles, but not quite. So I want to add the the lemon juice, you know, uh, I think the lemon juice tastes a lot better if you're making a uh, cottage cheese than uh, vinegar, but I have the red wine vinegar. Okay, so life is good. All right. Well, I hope everyone is getting ready for the holiday. I'm looking for a good deal on candy. I don't get that many kids, but just in case. So uh, today I went to uh, Ralph's and I thought, I'm going to look around. I'm going to take my list from when I went to the food pantry. And I'm just going to buy my own food, like the food pantry. And uh, see what I can see. And it was really... One, one week I went to the food pantry late. And they were out of food. And I go, wow. So I thought, I'll just go and try to get my own food. Where's my screens? I need the screens to strain my... Uh, I have the big spoon. That would be if I can find that. It's going to be bad news if I can't find either. Anyway, so uh, that was really successful. I'm going to show you in a minute. I have two screens. I have lots of screens. What is the problem? Oh, wow. Oh, I can use this. These are great if you have these. All right, so uh, I'll show you something. So see how the milk is coagulating? So now just turn off the heat and let it set. So uh, I could... Uh, I could have some cottage cheese to go with my ham. I don't eat that much pork, but I do like it. All right. So, um... I have cold tea. I have water back here. I had hives for two days. And of course, I didn't have any Benadryl. So I'm drinking water because tonight I will uh, drink, take some Benadryl. Okay, let me turn this egg. So this is a great... Uh, and then you know you can drink the whey. All right, so these are my lists from when I went to the food pantry. So I just went down here. Uh, cheese, check. Bag of oranges, so I thought I'll look for fruit. Um, bottles of juice, I don't really need that. Cereal, yes. Shelf stable milk, oatmeal, peanut butter, vegetable soup, yes. Uh, two cans of salmon, yes. Pears, yes. A package of brown rice and a package of spaghetti. So here was one week. 
So once you learn the uh, food pantry uh, food, that's going to help you uh, buy your food in an inexpensive way. And I took all of these with me this morning. Um, well, I got there after the gym, so I would have liked to have gone earlier. All right, let me get my fried egg out. Whoops. Okay. You know, any day you feel like eating diet food, that's great. Okay, now, now the next one was cheese. It was like a log of Velveeta cheese. So I have lots of cheese. Remember, I bought the, the single um, pieces of cheese, um, a bag of oranges. So I thought when I get there, I'll look for fruit. Two bottles of juice. I have juice, but I don't drink that much juice. A box of cereal. I don't eat that much fruit. Uh, two shelf stable milk. Yes, I have milk. Oatmeal. Yes. Peanut butter. Yes. I made peanut butter yesterday. Vegetable soup. Yes. Pink salmon, pears, brown rice, and spaghetti. So those were almost the same. Now this is the, the um, food pantry I've gone to most uh, recently. One stock celery, three carrots, a large zucchini artichoke, so this was a good one sweet potatoes so I don't have any of those for a while I was buying sweet potatoes and potatoes and then um so it was uh red potatoes so sweet potatoes and potatoes so I was able to get a bag two for two for five potatoes which is enough for one person and then I got four um, limes. So instead of oranges, I mean lemons. So lemons are nice to have because then you can make your um, cottage cheese. Okay, uh, one eggplant. So you can see this food pantry gave us tons of vegetables, which is too much for me anyway. Two large tangerines, two small tangerines a bag of bagels. So I had plenty of uh, bread and I had plenty of um, uh, banana bread. I had um, French bread. Okay, but I, but I did find bagels marked down. So when I went to the food pantry, what I noticed is all the food we got was the exact same food as the Ralph's markdowns. Okay, uh, bagels, oatmeal, yes, hummus, I do have hummus, uh, milk, uh, they gave us vegan sausages, those were good, and a dozen eggs, so I have eggs. So you can see that since I've been going to the food pantry, I've been stockpiling the food that they gave us. Okay, now sliced turkey breast. I have bologna, but I don't have turkey. So when I find a good deal, I'm going to buy turkey. Three fried greens, yes. Two loaves bread, yes. Six beef sticks. I have so I have those sausages this week. Two oranges, two cucumbers, three apples. I got two apples today, and I made applesauce. I'll show you. A sweet potato, so I know I need that. Potatoes, I got that. Celery, and they gave us a package of coleslaw. And then, as I go through these, it's like the same thing every week. Uh, so, uh, I know when I go on Saturday morning to look for that. So, okay, I went to, uh, I went to Ralph's. Um, I try not to go too heavy on the eggs to make myself uh, get too sick of eggs, like if I should need a diet. Now I just want to take my curds out. So if you stockpile um, shelf stable milk, you're always going to have cottage cheese and yogurt. So today I was at Walmart and uh, well, I'll do it this way. And I noticed that they have the Greek yogurt at Walmart 
for 70 cents. So that is cheaper than, uh, sometimes it curls better than others, but that is okay. Uh, it's, it's draining slow tonight. It might still be in the process of, of you know, curdling. Anyway, so I'm going to have a little cottage cheese just to show you. Okay. My wire mesh would have been better. But it doesn't matter because then you can drink this just like buttermilk or tomorrow I could do a little baking. I'm just going to put it on my plate as is. Anyway, I'll just uh, let it coagulate for a little bit longer and then I'll probably be able to. You don't really want to rush this. So uh, here we have it. Um, it all depends. Sometimes, uh, sometimes this tastes really good. I'll tell you that. Do you get used to the homemade stuff and the homemade buttermilk? Okay, so um, that is what I did. I reviewed my list from the food pantry, and then I checked my food storage. Um, so on Saturday morning, you can uh, you can go back to my uh, videos. Just go Rotostone um, um, Food Pantry, and you'll see the food pantry. Okay, so then I was at Ralph's, and uh, here is what I did today. So, so okay, the food storage is the most important thing no matter what happens if times are good if times are bad so i was at ralph's i mean yeah ralph's and they had the 11 dollar um package of um chicken and i'm trying to remember to save these trays for 547 so basically half price so this was 2.29 pounds and so here is the chicken I water bath can, and I'll show you what's so great about this in a minute. So uh, a pint holds about one pound. I learned that. And there's nothing in here except for chicken and salt. And I'll, I'll give you the recipe. And then I canned, uh, this is um, applesauce i got two apples in the potato bag for a dollar and so i i i checked to see if you can can half a can otherwise i figured i just re do refrigerator jam so they said yes so i can that uh, let me give you a close-up of the chicken so um i i think it was last week i had um canned chicken wings and those were so good those were the um at ralph's they have the um seasoned chicken wings and i just uh put them in the um i put them in the jar and then i just water bath canned them for three hours and then i just i think i made noodles with those those were delicious that was the trick to the good chicken noodles but if you have this, you can make an awesome chicken uh, pot pie too. So um, I'll show you the box. So my, so what I want to do this month is this. I just started doing this, and I hope you guys are trying it. I'm trying to uh, can one case of of food canned by me, and then I'm trying to stockpile one case of food. So that's about six of these in a week. 
it's not hard to do once you learn to do it. So uh, here's the pickles. I made three of these yesterday and these are gonna be really good once I get around to eating them. And then I have, uh, this is the chicken wings and this is the brisket. And I have another uh, brisket. When I didn't have quite enough brisket, I put onions on the top and this is a strawberry jam. So, um, you know, I think about these people without enough food and just learning some of this simple stuff is like how to stockpile or go to the food pantry. Okay, so now, um, so that is the canning. So for uh, 24 cans, it'd be about six cans a week, which is doable. It's hard if you work, but you can do a few on the weekends or you can make refrigerator. So the thing is, is if you find uh, the lemons and you find the potatoes and you get a couple decent um, apples and you make applesauce, then when you want to, you can make some applesauce bread. And uh, the lemons come in handy for all kinds of things. I'll show you. Okay, so that's the canned food I can. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So um, the, wor the worst thing you want to do is can the, uh, is get the cans, get the canning jars. And I use new lids, not the rims, but the lids themselves, just to make sure nothing goes wrong. So today I was at Ralph's and I thought, wow, look how awesome this is. This Alfredo, it was $5 jars of Alfredo for a uh, two for five. So 250 each. So this is going to taste really good with my chicken. And then I mentioned to you the bean with bacon soup. So these were three for four dollars. So I bought three of these. And and I showed you the this is enough for two large meals. You add milk like shelf stable milk from Dollar Tree and like a slice of cheese and that's going to give you a really good soup and i had cornbread here's the third one i had cornbread but if i had tortilla chips that would be good too so then uh ralph's had this fettuccine for 99 cents a box so my plan is this month to buy one case of canned food that I buy at the store, but only food that I normally eat. Nothing weird. So over time, so now when you don't need food, you can be a little bit more selective. You can go to the store. I had the uh, ham in my freezer and I'm canning because I want to can all the meat in my freezer. I don't want a lot of food um, hanging around in my freezer because it's probably only a matter of time until the um, the um, there's going to be some kind of a power outage or cyber attack. Okay, so now I will be making yogurt. That is why I bought the uh, the yogurt is 70 cents. The Greek yogurt is 70 cents on Walmart as opposed to a dollar at Ralph's. So get into the habit. And here's my other hamburger patty. If I don't eat all my meat tonight, I just eat it tomorrow. And then the cottage cheese, which that wasn't a very good demonstration. I wonder if any more is curdled yet. Let me see. Could be a bad batch, that happens. No, it's curling. It's curling slowly. Here we go. I need to start locating all my stuff before the videos start. Uh, chicken and applesauce. Okay, so if you can, if you buy cans, if you don't want a can, it's actually probably cheaper. But if you can it yourself, I think the quality is there once you start learning how to do it. Um, so another thing, back to the Saturday morning, 
uh, when I well, I was there, I was looking for markdowns, I was looking for sales, but I was also looking for um, pasta, uh, potatoes, like instant potatoes, um, sweet potatoes, I do have cans, and rice, Be and then flour. I'm looking for big bags of flour, the kind that are are uh, sealed, not the kind that that drop flour all over the place. So you have to put them in a container. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that. Okay. So um, the canning, learning to can a little bit of a t at a time is going to help you because little by little you're going to get some canning equipment. Don't go crazy. Just water bath can. Almost forgot to tell you how I water bath can the uh, chicken. Okay, this can be any meat. It could be the brisket. If you don't have quite enough meat, put onions on top. Okay, wash the jar in hot soapy water and then rinse it good in hot water. Then pour boiling water around the, this is the easiest way, around the rim and some gets in the jar and let it sterilize there for a while then pour the water out and i just wash the new lids with soapy hot water because i don't want to damage them okay then you just press your um meat when you're doing meat in the jar tight i mean not tight but press it down and then put for a pint a half teaspoon of salt or for a quart a teaspoon and then wipe your rim off with vinegar and then put your lid on and then just put it okay when you're going with cold meat you start your water cold you bring it up to a roaring boil and when it's boiling it starts to a, ro a roaring boil cover it and put um, a towel in the bottom of your pan, a, a kitchen towel, if you don't have a rack and cover and boil for three hours. So uh, I boiled everything over today a hundred times until I wanted to like go crazy. Sometimes it's quite the mess. And then uh, just let them cool for a little bit and then take them out and they say don't really um, disrupt them for about 24 hours. Okay, now on the um, applesauce, you cook your apples until they're really soft in water and sugar to your taste. I had two apples. I put about uh, between a quarter and a half cup sugar. I boiled them down until most of the water is gone. And then I, uh, I think this um, this one turned out better than the last one. And I just ground them up. I put it in the in the um, jar and then I put the lid on. So the applesauce was hot so I could put it in the uh, hot water with the chicken. And the applesauce um, only needed to boil for 20 minutes. Just make sure the water is covering all of the food and the meat, at, and you don't need to add anything to it and wipe your lid off with vinegar and check your applesauce for bubbles. In fact, anything that might have bubbles, the chicken, not so much. So um, if you have a lot of food in your freezer, a good way to practice the canning is just to can everything in your freezer. And then if you have your doubts, you can just eat it you keep it in the refrigerator and then eat it. Uh, and I posted the canning uh, video, a good one. It is called, uh, where is that? It's on my ex. I want to tell you because some of my followers say they can't find it. Amish canning part one, water bath, everything. And the channel is make it make all one word, make it make. So, um, if you learn the, how you, if like, you don't want to go to the food pantry, let's say you, I don't want to go to the food pantry. All you have to do is watch the other guy who goes to the food pantry and here's a, a one, it was the, uh, channel one day at a time. Here's what she got. And I wrote it down 
so that you start to learn what they give you at the pantry. So um, it all depends. Like uh, a lot of times they give you a lot of fruit and vegetables. They usually give you cheese. Uh, milk is great. Uh, bacon. Uh, I'm moving away from pork. Okay, you guys, that's going to do it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all. Bye, you guys.